Hey, welcome to Strider Tree Gear. Today, we're hitting on something that I briefly mentioned in one of my recent Instagram posts. It's a way to pull on ropes with machinery uh, that still allows for some actual manual tactile feedback. So it's a little bit safer on your ropes and on your system. It's a little bit easier to judge just how hard you're pulling when you're pulling with a heavy piece of machinery. So today, we're gonna demonstrate uh, this technique on this log back here. And I'm, we'll show you trying to drag the log with the machine up the hill. We've got kind of a really unstable surface. It's at a little bit of a downhill. And my ditch switch probably doesn't quite have the capacity to just grab on the end and pull it up. So next we'll pull on it with a rope. And this is a classic scenario for breaking ropes. Most of the time when I've broken ropes, it's something like this. We're trying to drag a log or we're trying to pull over something big or uh, just overdoing it with the machine involved. So we will use a friction system on the machine in order to reduce the potential for that failure and hopefully make things a little bit safer for us. So let's check it out. So my machine's a little bit more capable than I gave it credit for and could probably with enough maneuvering pull that off even though it still got stuck there uh, right where I was at because it was so uneven, really loose dirt. So anyway, I still want to demonstrate this. We're going to reset the log and go ahead and pull on it with the machine over here on the solid ground where I've got all the traction in the world and I'm going to be pulling downhill so I've got the weight of the machine as well and we're going to use that little friction system I was telling you about to, to make that pulling a little bit safer and try to avoid breaking the rope. So. Here we go. So I've got this sling that's made of some am steel here. I'm just gonna, I've attached it to a rounded portion of this. Uh, there's actually a ring down the front in the middle and that would probably be ideal, but this will work just fine. So I've got my porter wrap here. We're gonna use it just like you would on uh, any old tree. I'm gonna take my pulling rope through a redirect over there. I happen to know because we did it yesterday, that this rope has a fairly significant flaw on that end, which means if it breaks over there, it ought to snap up that way, which should be the better for us. But anyway, now that I've got my porter wrap here to pull with, if I'm gonna use a second guy, so my cameraman's gonna come over here and help me in a minute, but I'm gonna go ahead and just put three wraps on this thing, and he's gonna back the dingo down and I'm gonna be able to tell how hard he's pulling with this. If he starts pulling too hard, I can let the rope slip through my fingers. Uh, is it really useful, especially in situations where, say we're pulling a tree over, but if we pull too hard, then we can hurt, risk uh, maybe breaking the tree with the climber in it, or like taking a top, or if we're trying to just be a little, have a little more finesse, but we still need a lot of pull. This can be a really quick, nice way to set up. So here we're gonna give this a shot. I'm gonna stand over here like this where I can see what's going on. And I'm going to modulate the friction while we pull on it with the dingo.
So we discovered a couple of things there. We started pulling on it with the dingo. I had two full wraps around the porter wrap, only to realize that the rope was still slipping through even when I was pulling on it hard and the log wasn't moving. So I put a third wrap on. We were able to move the log a little bit, which is good, but it started slipping uh, despite my pulling on it as best I could, which means this is not enough rope to pull that log. I know from other experience that if I've got three wraps on the porter wrap, then that is about the maxed out amount of weight that this rope can support comfortably. Uh, a log I took yesterday actually burned through a little bit of the cover when I had three wraps on it, even though I had full control of it at the porter wrap, which just means that this rope's maxed out with three wraps. So having that hand feedback saved my rope from being broken again, and I know, well, I gotta better go pick up a bigger rope if I'm gonna try this situation again. And that's the beauty of this system, is it allows me to actually have a sense of just how hard I'm pulling, especially if you already have some idea of what it feels like to have weight on your porter wrap system from rigging. So it, it allows you to use your hand feedback knowledge from rigging and use it for when pulling with a machine and give you some idea of just how hard you're pulling with the machine to avoid breaking things and causing damage. So I hope you found this useful today. You can use this trick whether you're pulling with a truck, whether you're pulling with a small machine, excavator, whatever it is, this can make your pulling operations much safer. So hope you found that valuable. Thanks for joining me at Strider Tree Gear. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the little notification bell so you guys can uh, be aware when the next video comes out. And happy holidays to you. Hopefully we'll see you next time.